so I'm back with my crazy de-shed hair, uh, but I wanted to finally do my review on the Kenchi Fat Pants. I've been wearing them, today would be like over a week that I've worn them, so I feel like now I can really make a decision on how I feel. Now I have to start by saying I washed them the other day and I completely forgot about that little bag that I showed you guys. So when I washed them, you see this little thing like ripped off. Um, I don't know if that would have happened. I still hate this pocket, you guys. But I don't know if that would have happened if I had uh, remembered to use the dryer bag. I kind of feel like maybe it would have. I don't know. It really wasn't very strong after uh, I washed it and it just like broke off. I'll probably end up like just cutting it, like cutting this thing the rest of the way off because it really, I think maybe it, oh, it just has their little logo on it. It's really not needed, but I'm just saying these are $100. <laughs> um, so I mentioned in the hotel room that they looked a little see-through and I'm still not sure if they're see-through. Like. Sometimes I think they are, other times they seem fine. Uh, okay, here's one thing I've been thinking about. They are not warm at all. Like, I'm used to wearing my Under Armour. I use the ones, like, they're like heat or something like that. It's like designed to keep me warm during the winter. And they definitely seem to keep me a lot warmer than these pants. And I keep thinking about that because I am in South Carolina. So I imagine somebody in like Michigan, for example, I don't even know how you wear these. Uh, they are so thin that, I mean, you feel like the breeze is going straight through them. Like they are so thin. Uh, at the same time, as far as hair goes, like getting stuck in my pants, I would give them a 10 out of 10. Like they really do not keep hair. They don't keep, like I have dogs that shed and they don't seem to keep that hair on the middle and anytime I do a haircut, they will be completely free of hair. So they get a 10 out of 10 there. Now as far as fast drying, they do seem to dry fast. I don't think I would say they dry faster than my Under Armour pants. If they do, it's like very subtly uh, more fast, I guess. Uh, it's not, it wouldn't be by a lot because the Under Armour pants are designed to, and you don't have to do Under Armour. I just personally wear Under Armour. That's why I'm comparing it to that. But I'm, uh, the sports pants like Nike Under Armour or whatever, they're designed for you to sweat. So they do dry fast. Uh, so as far as drying fast goes, I really haven't noticed a difference. Um, they still, I think I said this in my other video, I don't like how they fit. They're supposed to have a no slip waist and maybe they do if you're not like a stick like I am like I have no curves to me whatsoever so I end up like all day long and like pulling them up and like I'm, I'm sorry this pocket's terrible and I can't even cut it out because you know then I'll just have like a big hole in my pants but it's awful like I hate it but the pants I think fit my legs really good but for some reason they just don't fit around my waist like they're just like so loose around my waist you guys I hate it um, but and they're really thin. Again, I got them for $79 because I got them at the grooming convention. And I'm glad that I got that $20 off because I would have been extra disappointed if I spent $100 on these. Now, this is just my opinion because these were actually recommended by another groomer that I really like. She lives for these pants and, you know, maybe because uh, she's got a different body type than I do. She's definitely like curvier. And I mean, you can see like I have skinny, skinny legs and they, I will say they do fit my legs. It's just around my waist that I'm having issues with. So, would I repurchase these? Probably not. I wanted to like them so bad because still for $79, that's so much money to spend on a pair of pants that I don't love, you know? Uh, I will say I've gravitated toward them this week, um, but I also think that was partially because I was going to be doing this review and I really wanted to wear the heck out of them before um, I did my review. I also saw uh, a warning on their box that said like if you have nails to be careful like you can rip them with your nails and it's like God, for a hundred dollars you guys like 
I'm just gonna say 100 because that's what they're actually marked as. Like I got them for 79, but unless you get them at a trade show, they're $100. $99 you guys for these pants and they rip with your nails they're super thin like like I said if you live up north I don't even know how you wear them I really don't I was truly thinking about that because I have been freezing in the morning like when I go to let my dogs out and stuff it's been so cold and normally it doesn't bother me that bad like I dress accordingly uh, the Under Armour pants seem to be fine I'm never overly cold um, but yeah I would say Maybe if you're in a warmer climate and you have $100 you just want to blow, then these are okay. They, like I said, I really give them a 10 out of 10 with the hair. They really do well for hair. Um, and they might be fine to wear during the summer, honestly, but I don't know how I'd even wear them next winter because I usually double up on pants. I'll wear like my Under Armour pants and then I'll wear jeans over them to keep me warm during the winter. Um, and if you were doing that with this pant, with these pants, the only benefit I truly see to them is the hair. And if they're underneath something, then they're not going to really help you with the hair. Uh, they do say they're compression pants. I'm not sure if the Under Armors say that they're compression pants. So if you're into that, like these are compression pants. So I don't know. I would just say they were flop for me. I'm not mad. Like I'll probably wear them. Like you can get my money's worth out of them, but I wouldn't repurchase. But anyway, I just want to come on and do this review now that I know my full opinion for sure. Again, I don't know if the dryer bag would have really made a difference as far as that little thing falling off. I feel like it may have done that anyway, but I don't really care. It's not a necessity to the pants. And this pocket just sucks. The pocket gets like a negative three in my book. I do not like the pocket. It is so in the way. And I showed in uh, the first video that I talked about them. I couldn't even fit my phone or wallet or anything in pocket so it's so pointless to me like and if you put like a chapstick in it the thing is to the pocket literally if I stretch it out I'll show you look the pocket goes down to here like okay you know what we're just for the fun of these here's a nail clipper right maybe this is what it's for for grooming supplies there we go Look, I finally found a use for the pocket. Yes! I'm over these pants, you guys. I'm glad I finally got this review out of the way so I can be done with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Think hard before you spend your $100 on these pants. All right, bye, guys.